Hello friends, welcome back to Blockchain Inside Out. Today we will discuss regarding this Sunflower Land, how we can earn more SFL in this new regime. That you all know that uh, Coin has been introduced that SFL is not is the main currency till SFL is the main currency but Coin is a off-chain currency and it is been introduced in the gameplay. So right now what we were doing previously is not the is scenario is the not, not the same so we have to do something new to earn more but basically the basic story behind this gameplay is you have to keep your patience otherwise this is not a cash cow this is this game is not a cash cow so you cannot earn huge per day you have to make a constant progression so that you will earn decent amount at the end of a week or at the end of a month this is the basic ah. nature of this game so you if you are trying to make a huge impact if you are trying to buy a huge nfts to get a massive earning it is not going to be easy for you so you have to follow these basic steps and you will your earning will keep increasing so basically i am having this maneki neko every day i click on it and you can see goblin go crazy stuff i got uh, one goblin trip well right now what we can do right so let me do this harvesting uh, job first then I am going to show you. Okay, it will not take a and you have to do all these daily chores so that you will make constant progression in this game you have to uh, harvest those crops you have to harvest those fruits so that you can sell in the market right and look these tools can be bought by coins so you at the opening when the coin came they gave you 3000 coins but eventually it will get over it will be finished so that you have to make something so that you can earn your coin constantly so what i i did i came to betty then i sold some things look if you are going to sell something you must uh, try this thing 10 10 kel kel or kale whatever will give you 100 coins but don't try to sell all the things because you have to earn sfl at the end of the day sfl matters right so i basically sold uh, some portion of this but don't sell this uh, wheat this is the most, most precious thing in this sunflower land so try to harvest as much as wheat and store it it will uh, be needed for chicken it will be needed for uh, cooking cake and and many more things it has uh, many utilities so you can keep your wits intact well uh, this is a basic thing you have to follow and one more thing if you come here you can see i have finished all the seeds even i have bought all the fruits though fruits basically uh, won't be bought every time because if you buy 10 fruits it will take longer time to uh, harvest those 10 fruits of every of four uh, natures right i have uh, planted ba banana and those are finished 
so right now i am uh, planting ap apple oranges and blueberry but the basic thing what i meant to say is you have to try try as much as possible finish all the crops first before replenish or restock before restock you try to finish all the stocks of seeds if you are out of time then at least try to buy those right like this yes sold out so you can uh, harvest at your own time but don't leave these seeds here so first thing you try to buy all the seeds before restocking then what you have to do you have to come to plaza every day you can come to plaza and check if anything is deliverable so that you can deliver your items and you will earn something some sfl or some coin let's see what uh, grimly is i don't have those basically i uh, haven't prepared those cake so i don't have those but what i can do i can come here this place and you can see you can sell your items or you can sell all the things what you are having here so that you can earn some uh, SFL. Suppose I am selling a gold or kale. Kale is uh, 0 0.54. Look, uh, I have sold 500 beetroot already and uh, I am claiming 24 SFL. Nice. List trade. What I can list? Uh, Three ninety nine. Uh, yes, definitely. I will not sell wheat. This thing I can uh, definitely try. Uh, so, uh, if I sell hundred and price is 5.3 then 53 and if i sell 300 then price is 16 say for 16 right the list it is basically i am uh, listing it in a bit lesser price but you ah. must not do this i am uh, just trying to show you that's why if you try to list is a uh, list those items in a lesser price then market price will come down so try to make those market higher ah. so that you all of us can earn more this is just i am trying to uh, show you how you can uh, list your trade and if you are thinking that uh, this listing is not good if it is not bought yet by anyone then you can cancel it out and a list is freshly but uh, i am not uh, going to do that and egg you can also sell those eggs and gold well how many gold i am having 27 gold i may sell uh, Float price 1.64 20 20 uh, 16 32 33 if I sell then also I will get 29 right Available 27. I am I am trying to sell it 1.64. Right. You can see if all those things 
been sold then almost 50 i should have get but uh, there is some percentage of uh, sfl ah. i have to pay as a tax so basically i'll get uh, 29 out of it and 14 i guess uh, from here so 40 around 42 43 around uh, sfl i'll get right ah. this thing you can try first you try uh, some you, you exchange some uh, of your ingredients into a coin then when you will find that uh, okay i have enough coin i can buy those seeds and uh, keep ah. continuing playing then come here and sell rest of the things here for sfl that's a good idea now what you have to do you have to go to goblin retreat to sell those sfl ah. right i'm showing you but i am not going to sell right now because uh, i will sell when i will have thousand sfl but i am uh, showing you the process and and ah. one funny thing you may you may find that uh, right now i am having 221 sfl here when i will go to goblin retreat just check how much sfl i am having over there ah. what happened goblin retreat is not working Oh, I see. Ah. Somehow it is not working. Let me check if it is working or not. Well, probably in retreat. Ah. Yes. You can see some friends are there. If you sell uh, ah. 50 woods and 25 stone, you'll get 2.35 SFL. That is a good deal, I guess. Now, come here. Well, in Goblin ah. Retreat, your uh, arrow key will not work. I have to press W A S D, so it's working fine. Now you can uh, sell uh, potato cake if you are having. Now come here. No, I am not having any chuder or so. What I will do? I will check. Ah. Here. Connect your wallet. MetaMask wallet, I have to connect first. Ah. Don't know why it's opening on Phantom. Refresh. Something went wrong. Basically, you it must open MetaMask. They are saying that refresh. Okay, I have refreshed and uh, let's see what is going on right now. Yes, we have came here again. Now trying to connect MetaMask. Yes, MetaMask is opening. Now change to Polygon. And you can only withdraw item that you have synced to the blockchain. Right? If I want to, these things you can withdraw basically. Okay.
if I want to withdraw SFL then uh, if I write 200 then I have to pay 17% tax means almost 35 ah. SFL will be deducted and I'll receive 165 right if I if I try to withdraw anything below 100 it will take tax of 22% ah. let's check so that uh, what I told you that I am not going to withdraw right now that's the point that's yes here less than 10 if you are willing to withdraw you can withdraw you have to uh, withdraw tax 30 percent petal island 27.5 percent if uh, less than thousand then you have to pay 20 percent and uh, in petal island uh, this is petal island uh, vip pass is going on whoever is having petal uh, all all uh, of our uh, players are having this petal island vip pass so this is 17.5 percent and if i withdraw anything above thousand then only 12.5 percent tax i have to pay that's also a huge deal because i have to i have to pay uh, 12 125 ah. out of a uh, thousand suppose i am uh, willing to uh, withdraw 1001 then i will get 876 sfl in my wallet and this is a uh, very easy you don't have to uh, do ah. anything you just come here and click on sfl is must be already connected as you are playing with your uh, metamask so it will be already connected and you click here then uh, press the uh, choose the number of sfl you want to withdraw then click on withdraw and bang it your sfl will be in your metamask right yeah right now i don't have any sfl so it's not so and uh, there is one important thing that if you are uh, withdrawing for the first time then don't worry because uh, your sfl will be at your disposal uh, sfl will be at your metamask but uh, your you won't be able to see the sfl right as that sfl is not added to your metamask wallet so what you can do you can uh, click on the transaction and uh, try to find out sfl's contact address else there is very easy option you come coin gecko okay you just come to coin gecko and write sfl sunflower land no this is not that coin sfl this is the coin and what you can do you come here and this is add to metamask this way you can add else you can uh, copy your contract address and add as a new token that's all so this is the whole procedure how you can uh, withdraw how you can uh, make your profit so hope you like this episode and please do share with your friends who are playing sunflower land thank you very much for watching see you soon